Well. Tracy Karate is a martial arts karate studio. We specialize in self-defense. We've been around since 1969 here at this location. One of the things that we do that's a little special is that we work one-on-one. -on -one. Most places are just group class schools. You really get that chance to work with a person at their level, um, at their speed, and work on the things that they really feel like are important to them. That's not to say we don't use group classes, we do. We, we do it in a combination of both. So you really get the workout and the camaraderie with a group class and the ability to repeat certain motions to perfect them. Okay. And then in the private lessons, you really get to work one-on-one, -on -one, like I said, and get a look, to work a little more in-depth on specific scenarios, you know, somebody's trying to choke you, somebody's trying to hit you, I'm leaving a place and somebody approaches me, things like that, and you really get, you get all the focus yourself in that private lesson. Well, I've been here as long as I can remember. My dad, Tim Golby, is 10th degree. He runs this place, um, he owns it, and I've been here since forever. I took my first steps in the front lobby, and uh, I started taking karate when I was six years old. Been doing it ever since and uh, I love it. We can teach anybody, and we do. We teach you from six to 76. Doesn't matter to us. And everybody has different goals, everybody has different desires, different wants, and things they want to get out of it. And uh, we're able to really cater to that. We've been doing it for a very long time. We have a lot of experience, and I recommend it for everyone. Okay, whether you're a little kid, and you're worried about getting bullied, or you're a young lady going off to school, or you're an adult man, and you're walking downtown with your family to a ball game, and somebody steps out of an alleyway, and you just would like to know that if something happened, you'd be able to protect your family. Well, it's very important to have the skill primarily to be able to protect yourself. Right? But most of us aren't getting into street fights every day, right? so it does give you a lot of confidence. And uh, confidence keeps you out of situations and it makes your whole life easier. You get in less fights if you look like you know what you're doing. Once you know a little bit about fighting, you don't really want to get into very many fights. You don't want to have to do that to another person. And that's important, because we don't want to be going around beating people up for no reason or, or anything. We want to avoid a fight as much as we can. And then if we need to, we want to be able to take care of ourselves. Uh, you advance to the ranks through learning a series of curriculum, basically. Uh, there's a set number of what we call self-defense techniques. So a self-defense technique would be an example of somebody comes up and grabs onto your shirt and is getting ready to punch you. Well, we have a kind of a set way to get out of that. You, know, might you do this. Same thing for a choke or for a headlock or anything like that. And so you master those, a certain number of those for each belt. And then you also do what we call a kata or two. And a kata is a longer series of moves kind of put together, similar to like a floor exercise, but working a lot on basics, you know, basic making sure your stances are strong, your form is good, kind of the strength in the body, and to make sure that you can do those things without really having to think about them. Sparring classes, which is another thing that we do. Um, that's something that we do a little bit later, after you've attained your first rank. And that's where we actually get out and you do some sparring with some other people where you put pads on, you're actually throwing kicks and punches and different techniques at each other. We use good control, meaning we're not trying to hurt anybody. Okay? So we use just like light. But we're working on speed, you're working on the ability to tell how far away is my opponent, what type of things is he getting ready to try and hit me with. And that can be important because you see just how easy it is to defend yourself. And so it's also a very important part of what we do here. I remember getting my black belt and I remember just the feeling of, I couldn't even hardly believe it, I was so happy. I didn't take it off for two days. You know? And it's that sense of just, I did something really remarkable. But it's not just at a black belt level. I was a kid when I got my orange belt, but I'm pretty sure I was just as excited.